posterior pelvic floor release plus anterior or front side pelvic floor activation. So oftentimes we want to release the back side of the pelvic floor and the back of the hip that gets super tight and grippy and we want to be able to connect with the front side of the pelvic floor. Think about the area around kind of the vaginal opening. So coming into an all fours position, you'll want to grab a yoga block, a pillow, just something that you can elevate the working side on. I'm going to place my right knee in this case on the yoga block and I'm going to kind of swivel this lower part of my limbs. Yeah, I kind of swivel that. So I kind of essentially bring this femur into external rotation when I do that. And then I'm going to allow this back knee to kind of come down, almost like cradling the front um, lower limb. So in this position, it's really easy to kind of shift over, but I want you to really think about shifting over to the side that we're working. So my left leg is kind of cradling and holding this guy in place. I'm in hands and knees, and I'm sort of shifting my weight over to the right. What that's gonna do, and you can wiggle around and find the right position, is gonna help you open up the back side, which is what we're going for. So in this position on hands and knees, I'm just gonna take some breaths. Inhale down into the pelvic floor and pushing actively through the hands. Staying over this right side. As you inhale, imagine the fat muscles on the back side of the booty and pelvis just kind of opening. You can imagine like everything just letting go of all the tension. And as you inhale down, you want to imagine that's spreading and lengthening. Now to feel that kind of anterior pelvic floor connection, we'll add a little bit of a layer to this. So inhale, still inhaling down, pelvic floor releases. And then as you exhale, gently kind of arch and kind of go into that little bit more of tilt, so that anterior tilt. As you exhale, think about that lift of the pelvic floor, more so on the front side. Inhale, down into the body, exhale. So from the side, and I'll do it on the left, and I set up in this position with my left foot on the block. I'm gonna swivel that lower limb so I'm in external rotation up here, kind of cradle this right side. I'm gonna shift my weight over to the right so I'm feeling that in the back side of the right hip. Inhale, down into the body. Now I'm gonna add that anterior front side pelvic floor connection. So thinking about inhaling, and then exhale, slide arch at the pelvis, inhale, exhale, inhale, let it all go, exhale, slide arch at the pelvis, feel that front side connection. And if you're not even thinking about the front side connection, you just want to stretch the back of the hip, you can utilize this as a great option. So you're on the block, swiveling the lower limb, kind of cradling with this back leg right here and keeping that weight shifted over that working side hip. And just thinking about watching that you're not hiking too much on that hip. So keep it long, shifting over and just breathing in this position. Inhale down and exhale up. So just know that manipulating that pelvis is gonna impact which side of the pelvic floor you're able to connect to. So if you wanna bias more of that anterior, you can go into a little bit of a tilt of the pelvis, a little bit more anterior tilt, you're gonna feel that connection with the front side of the pelvic floor.